is a roller coaster and what a ride. The sequel to the biggest grossing film in history. This one's even more fun. Ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and, and screaming. A perfect description. And the great thing about the sequel is we know the story. We've seen the dinosaurs. That means they get to the running and screaming quicker. Here's the setup. There was a second island accidentally discovered by a family on a yachting holiday. This is how the film begins. This is so great. We know what's going to happen to the little girl. I found something! We know what she's found, or what's found her. They're back. So is Richard Attenborough. He's trying to save the island. He sends Julianne Moore to study the dinosaurs. Her beau, Jeff Goldblum, shows up to bring her back. I'll be back in five or six days. No, you'll be back in five or six pieces. Attenborough's evil nephew sends a safari to bring him back alive to a new Jurassic Park near San Diego. Let's get this movable feast underway. Movable feast is right, as in if you don't move, you're the feast. That's all the setup the sequel needs. Cut to the chase. The dinosaurs look great. Real good cast, too. But the star of this film is behind the camera. No one creates this kind of pulse-pounding, adrenaline surging, sometimes credulity-straining hoop and holler fun better than Steven Spielberg. Go. As fast as you can.